Hey guys, this is Sarah from One Thrifty Mama, and I'm posting my video for week one of the $20 challenge that was posted by Priscilla. So we'll go through as quickly as I can uh, the transactions that I got today for week one. My first stop was at Rite Aid. I got the uh, Febreze Noticeables. Uh, they normally retail $3.49. They're on sale this week for $2.50. I had a $3 off manufacturer coupon, making that a $0.50 cent money maker. Then I got the Bear Advanced. I used, um, it's on sale for $2.99, and I used a $1 video values coupon, and I used a $2 manufacturer coupon, making that free. Uh, when I went to ring up, I actually didn't have enough. I had more coupon than I had product. So I had to quickly throw up the Fig Newton at 79 cents. So when I finally got to my subtotal, it was 28 cents. Okay, and I got um, a dollar up reward on the bear. So my 28 cents minus my one dollar up reward as negative 72 cents out of pocket, making that transaction a money maker. Then I went to uh, CVS. And first I scanned my CVS card at the coupon center. I got a coupon that said you could get um, a bag of the Newton Fruit Thins or a bag of the, uh, or box of the Ritz Crackerfuls for free. Um, so I got the Newton's Fruit Thins. They are $4.19. Uh, they're on sale two for five this week, but I got this bag for free. Also got the St. Joseph aspirin again on sale this week for two dollars used a one dollar uh, manufacturer coupon leaving a balance of one dollar you get a one dollar extra care buck back making that free the dawn is 99 cents and I had one uh, coupon left for the dawn Olay um, I got a few of these a couple weeks ago and I have one left because my store ran out of dawn so I used that today for one dollar off. The store rounded it down to 99 cents, making that free. Um, so when I went to ring up, I, I actually there was something wrong with the coupons. I didn't look at it until later on when I got home. I didn't pay attention, but they rang the dollar on the dawn down to 99 cents um, to match the product. But they rang the St. Joseph dollar coupon also down to 99 cents. Now that was two dollars. Um, so the one dollar coupon shouldn't have been a problem. I don't know what happened, but I lost a penny. So okay. Uh, so my subtotal on this transaction is uh, 101, and I got two dollars back on this transaction because I got one dollar extra care buck on the St. Joseph, and I got one dollar on my um, green bag tag. So that makes uh, my out of pocket minus 99 cents, another money maker. Next, uh, my CVS, I got the uh, soft soap body wash. Okay, it's on sale for $2.99 this week. I had a 75 cent off coupon that I printed out from the soft soap website. And I used one of my extra care bucks from this transaction as well. So my total when I rang up was $1.24. You get $2 extra care bucks back on the soft soap, leaving me with negative 76 cents, another money maker. Um, I went to another CVS um, in uh, East Hampton. Our CVS is very small here, so we have very little to choose from. Um, I got another soft soap because I had this 75, another 75 cent off coupon that I wanted to use. I was going to get the Optic White Toothpaste or the Colgate Sensitive because I had those coupons, um, but actually when I went down the coupon aisle, I saw this Crest was $2.49 and you got $2 uh, extra care bucks back, making it less um, out of pocket as well as a bigger reward back, so I opted to get that instead, even without a coupon. Um, so that rang up. And the subtotal on that was 4.73. Okay, and I got three dollars extra care bucks back. Now the soft soap um, is supposed to be one um, per card. However, for some reason, this transaction gave me one dollar extra care buck back on this soft soap. 
and I got two dollars extra care bucks back on the crest. So my 473 minus my three dollars extra care bucks back leaves me out of pocket of one dollar and seventy three cents. This is the only transaction today that was not a money maker. Okay, now I took all of my leftover extra care bucks from these three transactions, and I did this transaction with the Airwick iMotion. I got three of those and two of the Finish 20 count Powerball tabs. Now the Airwick iMotion is on sale for $4.99. I had $4 off coupon for each of them, making them $0.99. Cents. And I had $0.75 cent off coupon, the Finish, for both of those. And they're $2.99 on sale. Plus I used all my extra care bucks. So my subtotal I rang up at $1.45. And you get $10 extra care bucks back because we're buying uh, $20 of the this product, the special this week. So that leaves me with a negative $8.55. Okay, and I'm taking my $10 extra care bucks from this transaction, and this is my last transaction. I got the Brilliant, the Refresh Brilliant tampons are $6.79, and you get $6.79 extra care bucks back. And I got the CVS Allergy Relief. They are $3.69, and you get $3.69 extra care bucks back, making them free. Um, my After my $10 extra care bucks from my previous transaction, my subtotal is $0.48. Cents and I got the $10.48 in extra care bucks back. Okay, leaving me with a negative ten dollars. All right, so that was another money maker. Um, I had this thirty percent off your next purchase. I think this came out on the register receipt for my first transaction at CVS. Uh, I tried to remember to use it, and doggone it, every time I went into CVS, I forgot to use this. So it expires the fourteenth. I hope to get back in the store and use it on something to add to this list, but I might not, so I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm putting in my tally as of today for week one. Um, some statistics. Let's see. All of the items here retail at 82.52. Through the rolling over of all my transactions, I made $19.29. I started off with $20 in my challenge bank and I ended up with a balance today of $22.30 with whatever cash I had and my extra care bucks rewards that I'm carrying over. So I'm up $2.30. I wanted to thank Priscilla for posting the challenge. It was a great way to really um, try to think outside the box and make all my transactions count going forward. So I'm looking forward to uh, next week and uh, hopefully I do this well again and um, I can't wait to see what everyone else does. I'll talk to you guys soon.